so much. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Has she ever heard? Um, uh, yeah. No. She doesn't have a punch like yours. I, I'm telling you that straight out. That's the truth. The way you're gonna assault her is gonna be different than she's ever been assaulted. Yeah. The way I defeated Tina, everything that I showed, my skill set, my talent, how I showed that I'm at just a totally different level. I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm gonna show so much more. That wasn't even half of what I can do. And it's amazing how everyone thinks that like, that was the best of me. That's not the best of me. There's so much more. This crazy driver and he was driving. Actually, you were in it. Oh, great. He was driving us through, like, it was pouring rain and there was, like, floods everywhere. And he was driving through um, the rain, like, at 100 miles per hour. And I was, like, screaming. That was scary. What was I doing? You are screaming too a little bit. No way! Oh. Oh, I like when we do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I woke up feeling great on fight day, the best I've ever felt in my pro career. I woke up feeling, my body feeling good, mentally feeling good, and I just felt really calm and ready. My homie Roy just texted me, the boy Jones Jr. Got a text from one of my favorite fighters of all time, Roy Jones, just wishing me luck, and, and he let me know that uh, he'll be watching my fight, so of course that makes me a little nervous, but, <laughs> but at the same time, it's just great to, to have uh, his support. I'm my favorite fighter's favorite fighter, so that's pretty awesome. So all through training camp, my niece Sienna, um, who is just, she's just an angel. I, I love Sienna so much and we're very close and she really looks up to me and she's really inspired by everything that I do. So she wanted to wear a super bad cape and trunks to my fight because she wanted to look just like me. She even had on boxing shoes and she even had her hair braided and there was uh, people in the crowd who were actually like mistaking her for me and they were yelling out super bad when she was walking by and then when she would turn around they would realize that, it's, that it wasn't me. <laughs> Dean was just constantly reminding me uh, about the game plan. And of course, I spent 11 weeks trying to perfect this game plan. So when I was in the locker room, that's the point where I think to myself, OK, like, I'm, I know what the game plan is. I know what I have to do to win. I was actually not as nervous as I usually am. I was very calm and relaxed. And I was that calm and relaxed because I was so confident in my conditioning, I was so confident in my game plan, and I just knew that I was gonna go in there and I was gonna put on a great performance and I was gonna walk out a unified champion. I went in there and I did everything that I said I was going to do. I did everything that I was supposed to do. I, th I did everything that I said I was going, going to do leading up to the fight in training camp. I did it to, to perfection and, and that's what I trained so hard for for 11 weeks was to go in there and perfect my game plan, perfect my style, perfect what I do best. I have such a unique different style that people aren't used to seeing and I just wanted to go in there and show everybody that. I wanted to let everybody know 
why I'm different and why I'm special. And I said that leading up to the fight. I was saying it in my interviews. I said it at the press conference. I said, Tina's a very good fighter, but on Saturday night, I'm going to show why I'm different, why I'm special, and why I'm not like everybody else. Oh, this is the one I wanted. I'll tell you why. I didn't tell you why I heard of it. My mom loved this belt. She oh. oh my God, I want Sinisa to win this belt. <laughs> After becoming a unified champion and having my hands raised, uh, I, I just still wasn't satisfied. Still not happy because I'm on the road to Undisputed. Once I have all the bouts, Maybe I'll be a little happy after that, but I'm on the road now, but the road doesn't stop at being undisputed champion. It keeps going because I want to be undisputed champion of the world at multiple weight classes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Thank you for yeah. everything. We'll see you. The love that the fans showed me in Fresno was uh, amazing. Just meeting all the fans and, and hearing the crowd screaming my name and, and kids from um, the upper level dropping their shoes down so I can sign it and dropping their t-shirts down so I can grab it and sign it and tossing it back to Lamp. I love meeting my fans, I love meeting new fans, I love um, taking pictures and, and saying hi to all people who were there to support me. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Make if I could stay at the arena and s say hi to and take a picture with every single fan who came to watch me, I, I would. After the fight, I was so hungry, and luckily when we walked outside, there was a bunch of street vendors out there with, with street dogs, which are one of my favorite things to eat, especially late night and after a fight. So um, I had a street dog. Actually, I had two street dogs because a fan actually bought me the second. So shout out to that fan who bought me that second street dog. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I got back to the hotel, I was still hungry. Believe it or not, after eating those two street dogs, I was, I was still hungry. So when I got back to the hotel, Tina was there with her team and they had a bunch of In-N-Out burgers and fries. And um, as soon as I walked into the hotel lobby, Tina offered me a hamburger. She's like, I know, I'm, I'm sure you're hungry. So I got you a hamburger. So it was really nice of her. So I enjoyed an In-N-Out burger that uh, Tina bought for me. You got a hard style to beat. The next morning at breakfast, I run into Bob Arum and I just thank him for allowing me to be a part of Top Rank. And I just thanked him for um, giving me this platform and this opportunity to share who I am with the world. And Bob asked me what was next, and I said, I want that undisputed fight. And Bob said, Let's go get it. Bob really believes that, that I'm gonna become undisputed and that I'm the best, so it's, it's awesome to have um, my promoter and everyone at Top Rank just believe in me so much. I'm looking to fight in the summertime here in LA. Can't say too much yet, but working on a huge fight and I'm ready to become undisputed, so stay tuned for more episodes as I continue my road to undisputed.